Hi, I'm Mira Allen with your Manifest and Destiny Moon Update. Now, we have got a full moon coming up for us in Sagittarius, a beautiful fire sign. This is going to be on the Friday the 9th of June, so a couple of nights to go. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere in Australia and Sydney, Brisbane time will be 11.09 p.m. this Friday night. So make sure this Friday night you're going to be in your truth, in your action, in your fire. So what is this full moon all about? Exactly those things. And this lead up, I know myself, I'm such a moonhead, I've been feeling this so much lately. Just absolutely being in your truth. And what does that mean for you? And this is a wonderful time to write down questions, the questions that are pertinent to your life right now. Whatever questions are coming up for you, notice what they are. And if you are not sure about what you're questioning, have a look around your life and question what you'd like to change, what's around you, what you want to bring in. You know, I love Sagittarius for the simple fact that it is represented by that centaur. Half horse, half man, but more importantly, holding that bow and arrow, looking up at the stars, aiming for that particular exact goal, point, knowing, holding back that bow and arrow until it finally decides and it chooses to release, to surrender that bow. Now this is a big part, surrender. Where in your life, in yourself, truthfully, can you absolutely surrender? Where is that part of you that you have maybe questioned that now you don't need to question anymore? Or you have a question for yourself in that area, where can I express my truth in this area of my life? Where can the universe or God or whatever you'd like to call that divine love use me as a conduit in this present time? What needs to be illuminated within me where I can 100% be in my truth? These are the questions that we are being asked every morning, every day. I've been questioning so much this divine purpose. Why am I painting the galaxies? Why am I listening to Jupiter all the time on the sounds of NASA or on YouTube? Now Jupiter as well, that's interesting, going on the skies on the 10th of June. Jupiter will be moving forward. So yes, it has been retrograde and we've been having to, to look at things from the past and the usual patternings and whatever, but this full moon is a time to propel us forward. Straight away being followed by Jupiter moving forward. Jupiter, the most expansive, fantastic, beautiful planet. You know, with little cyclones going on and currently in the south, south pole of it at the moment. With its magnitude with its magnetic force. Jupiter holds such a massive power in this current solar system that we are a part of in this dance, in this cosmic wonder around the sun. So our little natural satellite, our moon, is circling our beautiful Earth, it is being illuminated completely by the sun, it is lining up to the constellation of that centaur, of that fire sign. What are you fired up about? What are you passionate about? Where are you not living in your truth? Where do you wish to live more in your truth? Where can you surrender completely and give up a part of yourself to something greater? Where it may not make sense to everybody else in the world, it may cost you every cent and every dollar that you are allowing into your life and you're spending it out on that creative gift or that journey or that learning or that study or that knowledge or having that experience. See what it is that is driving and fueling your passion. Is it providing something greater for humanity? Are we really a part of this shift into truth at the moment? Are we playing that role within ourselves and for others? Are we being 100% authentic with our feelings, our emotions, 
our mental thinking, our thoughts, and what we're bringing into this earth space time reality. Are we asking greater questions where we can contribute to humanity? Are we having an impact so profound within ourselves that it is radiating so profoundly with the outer world and it is reflected to us in the conversations, in the people, in the colours of the world that are vibrating in our lives, in our inner meditation, that inner space, in our sound, in our song, in our voice, in our communication, in the way that we share with the rest of the world. What is going on for us physically? Do we feel healthy? Do we feel energetic? Do we feel like dancing? Do we feel like singing? Do you feel sick? Do you feel sore? Do you feel hurt? Do you feel injured? Or have you recently done something which hurt yourself? You know, have a look at what's happening in your physical realm. It is an exact reflection of the inner purity or inner strength at the moment. Really be powerful with that. How deep are you getting with your truth? How long have you waited for these dreams to come to manifest? How's it feel now for you that they are coming to fruition? How's it feel? You feel so close as it's all being illuminated. Everything feels like it's speeding up. Because in this illusionary field of time-space reality, reality of time only exists because there is an incident marked by another incident. If we don't look at that incident marked by another incident, we don't feel that sense of that spaciousness or time or that gap. So when we're extraordinarily present, be it painting, singing, writing, sharing, communing, observing nature, merging, yogi, what is, what is it that you are doing in this current time-space reality where we start to truly acknowledge that time is an illusion. The duality of this world is its nature. And when we start to pierce past this duality and we pierce past this version of time, future, past and all this illusion, we start to open to an expansiveness that is reflected in the size of Jupiter, that's beyond even this solar system, that is opening up to these galactic, amazing ideas, where the Elon Musk of the world can start to bore down deep into the Earth and create superhighways, where flying to Mars seems like an actual possibility that we may see this lifetime, where the need for coal is gone, where the sun can really energise us, Our environment is changing. Things have to get really, really bad before the duality of the really, really good can come about. What is the truth of your Sagittarius at this point of change within yourself? Are you enjoying it? Is it fun? Are your conversations inspirational? This is the question, these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. Where can I serve? How can I love? What's working through me? How do I feel the infinite? How do I connect to my divinity? What is my real purpose here on this planet? Share this truth, find this wisdom, let this full moon illuminate all that in you, in that fire Sagittarius way, that avant-garde, that fun, in that motivated way as well. Let this full moon fire you up. Let it shine you bright and go for those exact dreams, those exact spots, where you feel a complete sense of knowing, where you feel a complete flow, a complete surrender as you let go of that bow and arrow and your dreams are drawn towards you. In the words of Rumi, what you seek is seeking you. 
My name is Mira Allen. If you're enjoying these moon updates, subscribe below. If you'd like me to do a chart for you, send me an email, mira at manifestingdestiny.com.au. And if you have a comment, if you want to share anything, please feel free to do that below. Namaste. Have a beautiful full moon in Sagittarius.